friends hi i'm chirish and this video is on parents request of how to make children write it is observed that children are quite reluctant about writing and there can be various reasons for this uh, one is just laziness they are just reluctant for no reason second is lack of knowledge when the children do not have enough knowledge about any topic they are a bit reluctant about writing so you will have to take care of it that they understand what they are writing or uh, if like example they are given some topic in the school to write an essay you need to understand and explain them the topic discuss with them so that they really find enough points enough knowledge about the topic to write third is about the children's uh, vocabulary this is also a very important aspect because sometimes when children lack the right words at right place and uh, lack of vocabulary it doesn't allow them to write uh, proper sentences okay due to which they get a scolding from school and that may be a bit motivating from them uh, fourth is because of bad handwriting if somebody has scolded them if the parents are like always scolding them for the bad handwriting children avoid writing so there are various solutions for this first is uh, yes for bad handwriting practice is very important you need to sit with them you need to be patient with them you need to give them some time for some days see rome was not built in a day so it will take time for any activity for the children to improve for the children to learn so you will have to give some time to them sit with them every day for maybe uh, a month or so where they can practice writing and definitely after a month you will see that there is change in their handwriting their handwriting has improved and that will boost confidence in them uh, second is if the child is reluctant because of vocabulary then you need to work out on it you need to discuss with the child various topics you can accompany him when he is writing you need to explain him what he is reading or his uh, school studies you will have to sit with him and explain the topic so that he gets the right words right vocabulary right meanings uh, in this case you can again uh, refer to various uh, Uh, books for uh, like the words with same meaning synonyms uh, different phrases you can introduce to the child so you can just make a schedule like um, like every day if you can introduce one new phrase to him or you can just read out a newspaper to him you can read out some nice words to him you can teach one new word to him every day okay so i think that would be helpful for the child to increase his vocabulary uh yes uh, this should not be a forced task on the child the child should it should be pleasurable for him he should enjoy it so you need to uh, do different activities wherein the child will enjoy it like uh, if it is his friend's birthday you can ask him to make a greeting card and uh, write on it whatever feelings he wants to share with his friends like happy birthday and may god bless you and blah 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 so whatever message he wants to write you can just guide him in writing that so that will help him to hold the pen and actually write the words which he says very easily okay so that will help him do this activity uh you will be remembering the activity of fill in the blanks so you will have to prepare some worksheets or get uh, worksheets from the market wherein you have those fill in the blanks uh, thing uh, like suppose uh, dash is the king of fruits so the child enjoys writing mango there instead of writing the entire sentence so you can work out different sentences like this if not you are not getting this from the market you can uh, have the worksheet create the worksheet at home uh, with reference to their study books okay that will be more beneficial to the child because uh, that will also help him study and understand his work as well okay and then you can uh, in case of uh, the child being very uh, reluctant in writing and just not ready to uh, write you can give him some time but never mm -hmm. ever write on the behalf of the child because that will give a very wrong message to the child the child may take it negatively and he may think that yes the parents are writing for him so he need not worry about it okay so do not do that one of the very most important things here is if you can create a small space for him at home or maybe one fixed place for him where he can study maybe his study table 
uh, where he gets everything in one place and he understands that this place is for studying only like for example we have a dining table when we reach the dining table we understand we are here for dining we are here for having food we are going to have breakfast similarly if you can create one place wherein if the child visits that place he goes to that place he understands there is a compass box there are some books there are there is his bag and yes now he is supposed to read or he is supposed to write okay you cannot immediately uh, push him to start writing but yes let him start with some activities let him get the ownership of that place uh, one day maybe he will start reading maybe he will just turn out the pages sometimes he will just draw something sometimes he will just scribble but over a period of time he will slowly he will take up the thing to write sit there and do the homework because see it is like a toy for a child if you give some space to the child he feels the ownership for the place and uh, when he comes back to that place he understand this is the place for me to study so that will definitely help him but in all these cases the parents definitely need to have patience uh, one more thing here you can do is if your child is quite grown up like he is in age of uh, sixth fourth about about fourth or so you can ask your child to write something that has happened during the day like we write a diary you can ask him to narrate something that has happened during the day share it see uh, for writing it is very important that you have a good vocabulary for having a good vocabulary you need to, you need to express yourself you need to uh, have good collection of words in your minds where you can express so once the child starts expressing and sharing his thoughts he will definitely be in a position to write in a right manner if handwriting is a thing that is bugging then of course you can get some good books from outside and let him practice every day maybe a page for so you can fix some time like we have a fixed time of bedtime stories like at the end of the day you read out a story for your child similarly you can fix a time for the child to write one page every day do not make it a lengthy process of 20 minutes 25 minutes you need to uh, read or you need to write do not do that so just give him 5 to 10 minutes where he can just finish up one page writing every day a neat and a clean writing okay that will definitely help him to improve his handwriting and that boosts up confidence in the children where children think they feel that yes they can write in a proper way okay then you can start narrating stories to him explain morals of the stories to him uh see discussion is always uh, best uh, with the children in all aspects because when you narrate stories they understand the various models of stories they are able to relate with the stories they understand the scenarios they understand what is king what is queen what is brother what are the animals how what are the wild animals what are the domestic animals and what are the relations okay so that definitely helps them building up their character okay simultaneously it also helps them to have a good vocabulary good words new words they learn new words from the different books so please please uh, do read different books for them if they are quite grown up then let them go and read newspapers there are very um, nice articles that come in newspaper which the child can uh, start reading here the very important thing is the child should read it loudly because when he reads it loudly is the pronunciation that helps him understand the word and understand the spelling of that word okay so here reading becomes very important part in case the child is not writing reading is also very important but very important uh, thing out of all these things is it should be pleasurable for the child the child should be able to enjoy the task whatever we have given them so you can play different activities with him start writing words play crosswords uh, take a word as ask him how many words he can make with that alphabet as you play with him so see uh, may, introducing different uh, games to him in such a way with some alphabet some numbers similar meanings yeah similar numbers yeah maybe tables that will definitely help him to encourage and write a lot okay the thing is only there has to be consistency in everything uh, nothing will uh, happen in a short time uh, span so give it some time maybe 15 days 20 days a month and uh, you need to be very patient and give you a hundred percent to your child when your child is with you okay that will definitely help you to make him write i hope this points help you in making your child uh, write and uh, get rid of his laziness okay thank you so much uh, you are welcome to suggest me any other topic if you would like to hear from me
thank you you can refer to my blogs on mishirish.com which has various write ups on this as well which has good uh, write ups for children as well to read various stories and uh, i have mentioned it in the link if you have liked my video please like it share and subscribe my video thank you so much thank you